let's stay in the NFL. Let's go to Green Bay, where Aaron Rodgers is expected to remain, or not expected, he is going to remain a Green Bay Packer. The NFL Network's Ian Rappaport is reporting a four-year, $200 million deal to keep him in Green Bay. That'll that'll last until he's 42 years old. So, uh, obviously, I, I do find it a little weird, by the way, that Aaron Rodgers has come out, and he said on the Pat McAfee Show, and he has tweeted that those numbers are not accurate. Like, do not go with those numbers. But at the same time, you know, I, I kind of trust Rappaport. He, he gets more right than he does wrong. So even if it is anywhere close to four years, $200 million, obviously they are messing around with the salary cap numbers and whatnot. Uh, the salary cap, by the way, up to $208 million this year. Uh, at least that's what's being reported. And, okay, so this is good for Green Bay, I suppose. Uh, they all want to keep him around. They, uh, they franchise tag Devontae Adams. What does this mean for the Packers going forward? I would imagine they're going to remain good, and they're probably going to have to get rid of Jordan Love at some point, right? Well, I mean, you don't have to get rid of Jordan Love. Right, But right. Jordan Love is, like, like, you know, and I'm going to tell you this. If any NFL franchise out there is trading for Jordan Love, they're idiots too. Like, how are these people making all this money running these teams? Well, we were shocked that he went in the first round to begin with. Like, it just, it, I understand he's got the measurables and whatnot, but what we saw from him at Utah State in his last season there was not great. Uh, he's had 62 regular season passes. He led Green Bay's offense to only one score in his only career start. That was a loss to the Chiefs, and that wasn't exactly a dominant defense, you know. Uh, he's young. He's only 23 years old. He's had two years learning an NFL offense, uh, and he's, I mean, he shared a, a locker room with the league MVP for two years. But, you know, I, got, I don't think he's gotten worse. I just I, – I don't know what Green Bay could get back in a deal that would be worth trading him. Like, do you develop him and then allow him to go on the open market? Because now you've got Rodgers tied up for four years. That's going to extend past the rookie deal. You know – what I, I don't know what you can do here. Well, nobody's worried about you're not worried about him going on the open market. Like you're not worried. Like you don't you know what he can do, and it ain't it ain't much. Yeah. So, you know. Yeah. No, you're, you're not wrong. Like you, I, I, I mean, if somebody if somebody finds it, like wants to come get him, great, trade him. But that's just not going to happen. That's just not realistic. Yeah, I, I seriously doubt anybody's looking at trading for him to be a, a starter by any means. Um, and at the most, you might give up, you know, a couple of draft picks for him or something like that if you think that he's got something. Um, what is he? He is six foot four, two hundred nineteen pounds. I mean, he's ideal size, but dude's got a lot of work to do. Got a lot of work to well, do. Well, he just doesn't look good though. I don't care what size you are. I don't care. I don't care any of that stuff. At some point in time, you got to be able to play football. Yeah, yeah. No, you're not wrong. Uh, CBS Sports says, given the importance of the quarterback position. It is not unfathomable to think that the Packers could fetch a day two draft pick for Love, and it doesn't hurt that this is a relatively weak uh, quarterback, free agency, and draft. So yeah, you're, I, you're talking you're talking a day two. You're talking a second round pick, uh, second or third. You know, that's just not happening. I just I don't think so either. I don't know why anybody would do that. There there are plenty of projects that you can get on a on a rookie deal that you know you would have more time to develop them on a rookie deal that you can get in the second and third round. Like, you don't have to bring in Jordan Love, who's on a first-round rookie deal, uh, and is already two years into it. <laughs> He's just, I just don't think Jordan Love's ever going to be good. So I, I think you're probably right. Um, I mean, you, you're probably right. We'll, we'll see. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, they, they said Atlanta and Washington. Um, oh, this was before the, the Washington deal. Uh, so it, it, they also said uh, Seattle. Um, you know, Seattle could be a spot if if they're just desperate, right? But I, I mean, I think Seattle doesn't necessarily want to go that route. They may want to take somebody in the draft and just completely restock this thing. So who yeah. knows? Uh, what what does it mean for the Packers as far as you know keeping Aaron Rodgers in tow? Uh, just stay the course. Keep uh, doing they'll what be you're doing. good, but they're yeah, they'll, they'll be good. They just won't. They just won't have any money to build around him. I mean, 
congratulations, you franchise, you know, Devontae, you're going to be you're gonna be real good this year, probably. But that's it. Rodgers is going to make a lot of money. And then and then you won't have enough money unless the salary cap ends up jumping up to, what did they say, $250 million in the next few years. Uh, if it jumps that much, then, you know, outside of restructuring Rodgers and giving him more money, which is always a possibility, uh, they really won't have a bunch of money to to put pieces around him. So, you know, I I, I get wanting to keep uh, the two-time MVP or the, the reigning MVP, but also, man, this is crazy. Like, that's a lot of money. That's just, that is stupid money. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.